Hi, I wanted to share a resource with you in case you are looking to supplement your kids' math education over the summer and even into the fall. This is a fantastic um, curriculum. It's called Miquan Math, and this is a primary grades curriculum usually used in grades one through three. Um, focuses on the conceptual underpinnings for uh, early numeracy and takes a lab-based, hands-on approach uh, to the mathematics. Each workbook is, is really a lab book, um, and this is the first one. There are six work or lab books in total. The first two are usually used in grade one, the middle two for grade two, and the last two for grade three, but you could certainly use it with kids uh, in earlier grades or in later grades uh, if they need some, later grades if they need remediation or if they're, you know, ready for um, this kind of thinking, uh, you know, before, before grade one. So let me take you through this. Um, first, I should tell you that this, um, this curriculum relies on the use of Cuisinaire rods, which I just love because Cuisinaire rods really helps kids understand um, number relationships unlike unlike any other uh, sort of approach. So you can see when you're first starting out, these cubes can represent the number one. Um, and then, you know, kids can identify that two of these equals two of the ones, two of the cubes, right ones equals one of the red ones. So this one must represent two um, and so on. So here is the three. Um, and, you know, you can sort of see the relationship between the numbers in this way. Um, and then, you know, later on, you, if you want to identify this as a 10, then this would then be a 20, and this would be a 30. Um, so this, the Miquan Mathematics dip, uh, relies on the use of Cuisinaire rods. Let me take you through, um, through some of this. So this, this is what... The lab book. This is the first lab book. This is kind of what it looks like. It's definitely not a traditional approach, um, and you definitely need the teacher's guide for this. Let me open this and just show you what all is covered in this curriculum. So here is basically everything that's covered uh, across the six lab lab books, um, and then the there this front matter. These like pages takes you basically through um, activities and, and really co concepts and ideas and understanding that you know kids should have sort of maybe before diving into the um, lab explorations so here is the teacher's guide to the first lab sheet and you can see this is what the lab sheet looked like before my kids uh, my daughter uh, you know did this exploration and you can see that there are several suggestions for how to use um, each lab page. And you know you can use their suggestions, you can use some of them, all of them. Um, you can definitely use them as a jumping point. Um, I find that I modify some of them um, to you know, provide extension of the exploration for my kids. Um, so let me just take you through this first one just to give you an idea. So um, my kids are beyond the point of, you know, learning one-to-one -one correspondence. Um, but that's one way that you can use this first lab sheet. You have, you know, you can basically see that this is a, a, four, a set of four objects, a four set. And you, you know, you can then represent that value in different ways um, through tally marks, through symbolic notation. Um, then you can, you know, ha have the kids, you can ask them, like, for a single rod that would represent that value, and then they'd have to figure out that, oh, that's too small, that probably represents three, I need a four. So then, they, you know, they line them up, they're getting to know the different values of the rods based on, you know, one of the white cubes equaling one at this stage, um, so that they can see the purple rod equals four, so they, you know, there's my there's my solution for that or you could ask what two rods is equivalent to this value and they would have to find that well two and you know they, they're kind of thinking this out reasoning it out trying and they're guessing checking and revising um, so they can see that up oh, two reds equals this value and you can have it open-ended can you find you know a different combination of rods that would equal that value and maybe they would have to do something like this 
um, and show that you know this combination of rods equals this value. And they could write it out if they're up to that, that two plus one plus one equals four. Um, so there are a lot of different ways to use these lab sheets. Um, and the exploration is just invaluable that kids do. Um, and this, this is a really affordable curriculum. Like I think each one of these books costs anywhere, I don't know, six to $8. Um, and this, I don't know, 12, maybe at the most 25. And then the Cuisinart Rods, I don't remember how much these cost. We've had these for quite a while. Um, but this is a really fantastic curriculum that you can use uh, during the summer if, you know, if we're going to be out of school in the fall. Um, this is something that definitely will help your kids develop a solid foundation in early numeracy, which is really the foundation upon which all future um, higher level mathematics is uh, uh, relies.